Well, it only took a couple of hours, but Ateri Tudbaritza has clapped back at all of the online comments. From the beginning, Ateri has wanted to control the narrative about Alina Zagita's retirement, and today there was an Instagram post as well as an article that came out, um, and they all have Ateri's fingerprints all over it. Now, Ateri is known uh, to run the Team Tudbaritza account based on when she is posting, and the fans in Russia do track this, and it's very interesting because they obviously made a comment today. Um, but let's do a timeline because first an article about the sports from Sports Business Online about Zagitova's time off. And while we can't know for sure whether or not a Terry was the source, it seems like all signs point to her, although perhaps she had uh, Daniil Glykenhaus, Sergei, or Sergei the Hot Sergei, or Sergei Dudikov um, provide the information for the article, but it clearly comes from Sambo70. So they did say this, that Alina would lose money from contracts if she announced retirement. Now, she also would lose money from the Russian Federation. These skaters are kept on a salary, and that is how they get their funding. Of course, the coaches do get a percentage of that. As you remember, we talked about Terry's 40%. I mean, she makes Kris Jenner look like nothing here. She recently upped that from 30 to 40, by the way. Uh, they say that Ateri and the other coaches had a bad rela relationship with Alina since the offseason because she didn't have the motivation or the work ethic. And if you remember, Ateri's sister, Marina Hoffman, also um, posted about that. Now, it would be understandable if a skater started to realize that they were not achieving the same uh, results as the other skaters. And as we're going to see later in this article, they clearly contradict themselves. They said that after the Grand Prix final, Terry gave her a choice, either work as you worked before or leave the group. Now, that doesn't seem to actually be true at all. If you recall, uh, Alina was forced to withdraw from the exhibition at uh, the Grand Prix final. And prior to that, Terry was already telling the press that they would decide about retirement. So this work as you had before seems not to be true. It seems like Terry really was motivated last season uh, to win the World Championships with uh, Zagitva, but you could even tell by her reaction, she seemed to be more excited by Terzin Baeva landing the quad and beating Yevgenia Medvedeva, uh, especially since Terzin Baeva was also uh, a former pupil of Brian Orser. So it was a double middle finger to Brian. Um, and that seems like it was her real uh, motivation last season. And it seems that it was never about Alina at all. Now it says, after Nationals last year, Alina wasn't answering Ateri's calls for several days and wanted to retire. Well, that's understandable, considering that she was beaten by all three juniors. And the coaches told uh, her to leave after uh, winning European. So maybe they used that as an inducement to get back in the rink. Now, during the summer, Alina told Ateri that she wouldn't continue competing if she couldn't fight with the three A's, as they call them, Anna. Aliona and Alexandra uh, for the medals. Now, obviously, that's understandable when you realize that you're being uh, passed by. So uh, to have emotions like that is understandable for sure. Um, and it seems like they told her to keep going. Remember, there's good money um, in the Grand Prix medals, and they likely knew that Alina couldn't produce for them afterwards. Also, she signed that makeup contract, so it's very likely that she actually had to keep competing. So they needed her to keep competing to get that money, and the coaches obviously also get a percentage of that. Uh, they say that Alina may have decided to take a break to find a new coach. Uh, negotiations with an unnamed coach started before the Grand Prix final, and both sides want to work together. Now, we will get back to this when we get to their Instagram post, because remember, the coach gets the percentage. So if she wants to work with a new coach, but she also wants to take a break from competing, that doesn't actually make sense, and that's why we think that that's BS, because remember... Alina can't say that she wants to retire if she wants to keep getting the money. Now, they, if she realizes that she doesn't want to keep skating because she can't compete with uh, the three, uh, three A's, well, think about it. Even if she goes to another coach, she's not going to magically get the quads. And even if she has one-on-one -on -one individual attention, she's likely not to get those quads. It hasn't worked for Evgenia, and it's probably not going to work for Alina as well. They do say that Alina was training quads this summer. Now, we all saw her train that quad flip in a harness. So that's, um, 
you know, neither here nor there training quads. It may have made her triple lutz a little bit bigger, helped improve it. But if Alina could land the quads, we likely would have seen her land the quads. It's highly unlikely that this camp would not have someone perform a quadruple jump. Remember, Trusova landed the triple axel. We saw it at Instagram. Boom, she put it in at the Grand Prix final. So if she could actually land that quad, she would have been more competitive with the other skaters, and we would have seen that. Um, they would have loved for her to keep going, shut up all the haters that say that they can't go after age 17. Uh, Elena Vaitsehovskaya wrote about this. She said the reason that in her blog said that the reason why you don't see them work with adults is because they don't have to. Uh, adults require a more individualized approach. The same uh, group methods that worked when the skaters were kids no longer work. So it's actually no surprise. Uh, they, you know, they don't have to work with 18, 19 year olds. It would take much more time, much more individualized focus. And if they don't have to, why bother? They can make the money from the skaters in the shows and keep that going. And then you kind of make money on two fronts. You have the professional front and you have uh, the competitive front and they're getting their 40% from both, honey. So I, I don't see that they have a, a issue uh, with that. And they said that um, they called the source for this article a person familiar with the situation. So all signs point to a Terry for that. Um, and Elena Vaitsehovskaya wrote an entire um, article about this on her blog. Uh, she feels that it's more interesting to watch competitors get to know them and continue uh, to train later on. Um, but let's go in. Also, just a note about the video with Tuk Dimitrieva. One of the things she claimed in that video is that um, the Russian Federation is really behind Evgenia Medvedeva. This is why I think that this video that was posted was likely taken after she didn't qualify for the World Championships and that her agent likely held on to it. Now, whether or not he edited it to make it worse, it does seem like she did say some things. And um, I don't know if we actually reported on this last year, but the feeling was is that Tatiana Tarasova had her fingerprints all over moving Evgenia Medvedeva from a Terry to Brian Orser, and then we saw her um, working with them. You could certainly see at the test skates that she was very supportive of Evgenia. And remember, Tatiana Tarasova is best friends with Elena Buyanova, and if you have not followed it, there are all sorts of rumors for years about Elena Buyanova's husband and Terry Duburitsa and Diana Davis, and that is something that has gone on for some time. So there's a lot of smoke in that area. Tatiana Tarasova loves to have her fingerprints on all sorts of politics, and it's largely suspected that she helped grease the wheels to make sure uh, that Medvedeva made the World Championships last year. And based on her performance, it does seem that she needs help. So it's understandable if Tuk Dimitrieva was ranting, and though it looks like this uh, agent took the video and perhaps used it against her later on um, when things have changed and perhaps she was no longer in her feelings. But it seems today officially that Terry Tudberidza clapped back on the Team Tudberidza Instagram account. And this is very interesting because in this casino, the house always wins. So let's go into what Terry said. Dear lovers and goodwill of figure skating, after reading at leisure your numerous interviews and comments, I decided to contact you. Respect the decision of the greatest athlete and the work of the whole coaching staff, which led Alina Zagitova and other athletes to the results they will be proud of for all their lives. Dear Tatiana Tarasova, for three years, Alina Zagitova showed more sports results than some athletes in 10. It is a pity that in the time of Alina's greatest achievements, you criticized her so much. Probably because of a huge love, they're referring to Medvedeva here. In that case, the rest of our athletes really want to wish a little less of your love and care. Evgeny Plushenko, you can't be called a coach at the moment. You have not raised and taught any athlete anything. Your periodic attempts to buy, literally the word, ready athletes only interfere with our professional work. So he's likely the coach they're referring to in the other article. You failed to lure Alina to yourself, like you didn't try to humiliate us in her eyes. We wish you to educate at least one of your athletes. The truth for this, you need to attend the training process. Well, he doesn't actually seem to coach at his school. He is the front there. We wish you all 
good health, coaching staff to Baritza. Now, let's see. So clearly, Plushenko wanted to lure uh, Alina. He likely sensed that she was going to turn professional. Remember, he briefly coached Adelina Sotnikova, and now she skates in all of his shows. Uh, Plushenko's wife, Yana, is an agent who has worked with that Edvin Martin. He's also tied with agent Ari Zakarian, who was the other passenger in Oksana Bayol's DUI crash and is the agent that works uh, as also a commentator during the Russian Nationals. So he is a figure here who helps put these skaters in shows. So Ari and Yana work together on that Kings on Ice show, so it's likely that he wanted to lure Alina into his wheelhouse. Now there are also shows by Averbuk that go on, so wherever Alina performs, Team Two breeds it will now get the percentage, and it's likely Plushenko was also negotiating for that percentage. So we can't say retirement um, if he's going to coach her. I mean, he briefly coached Sotnikova, though she never actually competed. So it seems that Terry is clapping back. Now, the line about him never producing anyone is largely true. We haven't actually seen any results or any skaters stay with him for some time. Now, there are coaches that work with senior athletes at the very top, although it seems that in skating you can no longer do this because in lady skating, it gets more and more competitive. In Russia, there were always kinds of developmental coaches that would take athletes to the top and do all of the grunt work. Now, this kind of shade has been thrown against Tatiana Tarasova for years because even as her career started with Arena Rodnina, Arena Rodnina was actually developed by Stanislav Zuk, but after Arena Rodnina split with Stanislav Zuk, then she went to Tatiana Tarasova. Tarasova was more of a dance coach, even though she was actually a pair skater herself. Uh, Tarasova, remember, she took on Mao Asada, Shizuka Arakawa. They already had all of their jumps. Uh, Alexei Yagudin already had all of his jumps from Alexei Mishin. Ilya Kulik already had all of his jumps before he went to her. So she's really more of a finisher. A Grishuk and Platov were really uh, more developed by Natalia Linichuk. So this practice that Plushenko is trying is really not that unusual. And in this case, it's more of a quasi-competitive uh, professional relationship. Um, another note about Terry's sister, Marina Hoffman. If you notice, in the past, she has also badmouthed other skaters. So the break is never clean. You can see why Alina has chosen to go along with the planned retirement and to stay with a Terry, because it seems that that's much better for you. <laughs> it seems like a Terry certainly has ways of destroying you. Uh, her sister Marina Hoffman actually wrote when Yulia retired that now we can see that it was nothing special at all, just the spins. Now, you, if you couldn't get the vibe that these skaters are mere pawns to a Terry and that she is the real star and the real talent, I think that says something because Yulia was certainly one of her first great champions. Certainly she had many uh, great qualities, flexibility, spins, expression. But they're saying she wasn't special at all. So clearly the special one was a Terry in that situation who guided her to victory. Well, I would say that they both had some talent there. And it's a real slight on her. But it does seem that all of the skaters do um, have this psychological pressure on them where they're not sure if they can go on. Uh, remember, Yulia left and really had a meltdown afterwards. Also, there was always the stories that have circulated in Russian skating circles that a skater prior to Yulia had a bit of a nervous breakdown and tried to run away and ran into the forest, as they said. And that's been a, a tale for years that has been told. Uh, and it's likely uh, the skater that Yulia supplanted. Um, so it's interesting because they talked that Zagitova wasn't sure if she could handle the pressure prior to the Olympics. She is known as a crier, so is Alyona Kosternaya. Remember, Kosternaya was not even in the top group all summer until she started landing the triple axel. So these methods are certainly very difficult and you produce or you do not uh, get included. We remember the other skaters that were gotten rid of, Sur Daria, uh, Surskaya, you know, they have cleaned house many a times in Sambo 70. They do not uh, tolerate bad results, de certainly uh, sullying the reputation of this school. So it's certainly going to be more to come. Also, uh, Senya Stobova withdrew from the Russian Nationals. We do know that her partner is so supposedly injured, but remember, 
the WADA decision also came out. So can Sobova even skate at the next Olympics? Certainly her motivation would be to go to the Olympics. But if Russia is in trouble again with someone who had doping issues in the past, and it's largely uh, suspected that she is that athlete from the McLaren report, if that is true, and her sample was diluted so much that there was a physiologically impossible salt level, then Stobova would likely not be able to compete in the next Olympics, and it would start to make sense that the partnership would be unraveling. Uh, Mikhail Kolyada also withdrew. He hasn't been skating since September, so this could or couldn't be the end of his career. But it certainly seems that a lot of stuff is going on in Russia. We will continue to be tracking all of it. If you like this video, please smash that like button. Leave all your comments and your thoughts below. Would you go along with the Terry's plans for you? Apparently, um, it says in Russian circles that uh, journalists tell us that when Arena Wiener wants her athletes to retire, they know that they have to go along with it, but she will buy them a flat, she'll buy them a car, anything they want. She has a billionaire husband, but they have to go along with her plans because she doesn't let anyone sully the school's reputation as well. So what do you make about all of this? Uh, should Alina have retired? Do you ever expect her to compete again? Should she have gone to Plushenko? Would that have been a better business decision for her? Or would Terry have tried to stop that? Terry is more and more powerful. As you see, there seems to be a lot of pressure. You never hear Tarasova criticize her skaters on TV. Tarasova is very strategic. And we remember Elena Vaitsehovskaya uh, was not complimentary enough about some of Terry's skaters, and she no longer has a job. So these are things uh, that seem to be going on in Russia. We'll be tracking all of it. If you're new here, please subscribe. Enjoy this channel. Leave all your comments below. We want to hear from you. Thanks so much. Bye now.